find a comfortable seated position to get started. Our hands resting on the knees. Drawing our shoulders over our hips. Our chin slightly drawn down to keep the back of the neck long. A soft face, relaxed shoulders. I'd like to begin just by slowing down the breath, doing a bit of breath work. And we'll do some square breathing this afternoon. So I think most of you are aware of what square breath is, but you'll choose a number like four or six and inhale for that number. Hold at the top of the inhale for that same amount. Exhale to that same number and then hold at the bottom of the exhale for that same number. I'll allow you to breathe on your own at your own numbers because I don't want to have to force you to hold your breath longer than you wish. Complete one more round of the square breath. And begin to breathe at your natural rate and rhythm. So if we have the eyes closed, and if we don't, we have a soft gaze forward. But looking inside to find the place of peace that resides within us. It seems like my outer view is very turbulent these days. It is. But allowing myself to look within. and find a peaceful center and allowing this peaceful center to be nourished and grow through my breath with this yoga practice. So then inhale, we'll sweep our arms up to the sky. Palms will touch and we'll exhale the hands to the heart space. Pausing here to dedicate our practice. And sealing that dedication with one full deep inhale. And complete exhale. So we'll bring the arms out wide. And we'll bring the right arm underneath the left arm. We'll do some eagle stretches. So I did a lot of eagle last week and I got so many people thanking me for the eagle afterwards. So we'll, we'll start with the eagle stretches again, dropping your chin towards your chest, finding the space in between the scapula. And if it feels all right, you can begin to drop your chin or trace your collarbones with your chin, moving the neck side to side. If it doesn't feel good, you can keep your head stationary.
We'll shift our gaze up and unwind our arms. And then we'll bring our left arm underneath, palms touching. Again, slightly lifting the elbows, sliding the hands forward, we can drop our chin towards our chest. And again, we can begin to trace the chin along the lines of the collarbones. Allowing the gaze to come up, we'll inhale the arms up to the sky. And exhale, we'll just fold on forward from here. Hands to the floor. Find length in the spine and you can begin to wave side to side. We'll walk the hands over to the right. And then we'll walk hands over to the left. Walking hands back to center and then bringing the spine up, we'll roll over to all fours. Exhale, rounding the spine, taking our time for cat and cow. Inhale, we lift our head and tailbone. Returning to neutral spine, bring the right arm out towards the right side of the room and we'll take our thread the needle. So right arm underneath, right shoulder to the mat, right cheek to the mat, left arm slides forward. If that feels comfortable for the shoulders. So again, another shoulder stretch here, but here we're focusing on the back of the right shoulder blade between the space of the ribs and the shoulder blade as though you're breathing space into there. We'll slide our left hand under left shoulder and return to tabletop position. And do some barrel rolls here. Rolling out the head, rolling out the tailbone. Our left arm will reach out and we'll do the same thing here, dropping left cheek, left shoulder. Right hand can slide forward. Pinpointing where you feel sensation. Noticing if you can send your breath to the back of the left shoulder blade. We'll place hands under the shoulders, return to tabletop position. And again, just maybe some cat and cow or barrel rolls, a way to warm up and wake up the center axis of the body one more time. Tucking the toes back behind us and lifting our hips up and back, we come to our downward facing dog. Knees bent, especially if you're feeling tight in the back of the hamstrings, slightly tilting the tailbone up towards the sky to find length through the spine.
Good. Inhale, roll forward to high plank pose. Drop our left knee to the mat and angle our left shin and reach back with your right foot. Right arm up to the sky. So this is kind of like a modified side plank to begin. And then we'll lift up that right leg. Right arm reaches forward. Exhale, draw your elbow to your knee and inhale, lengthen out. So as we draw in, we feel nice and strong in the obliques here, finding length. Exhale as we contract, inhale as we expand. We'll pause reaching out. We can bend the right knee and reach back for our right ankle. Opening up the right hip to the long edge of the mat. You might even feel a sense of opening in the right shoulder. We'll inhale, reach long one more time and pivot back to a tabletop position. And I'll need to switch here. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll inhale, high plank pose. Drop right knee to the mat, angle right shin. Left foot can uh, stay planted to begin with, left arm up to the sky. And then if we feel stable, we can begin to lift up the left leg, left arm reaches forward. Exhale again, knee to elbow, and inhale, reaching out. Finding stability in your core, and nice and strong in the shoulder supporting you. We'll pivot again. I'm sorry, we're gonna reach out long, bend the left knee, and grab the left ankle with our left hand, reaching to open up the left hip flexor, and again, maybe a slight pulling on the front of the left shoulder to release any tension through our pectoral muscles. Shifting your gaze down can help with that. We'll inhale long. Exhale to downward facing dog. So pivoting to tabletop and then exhaling to downward facing dog. If you feel stable enough to do so, Grounding right hand into the mat and reaching for your right calf with your left hand. Switching up left hand to the mat, reaching for opposite calf with the right hand. We'll place both hands on the mat and take a slow walk to the space in between the hands. We hang out in our forward fold and we grab opposite elbows. A gentle swaying, the head is heavy, the neck relaxed, the jaw relaxed. Ragdoll position. Bend the knees a little deeper, see if you can rest your torso on the thighs, really curling into a small little space. We'll drop the hands to the mat and slowly roll it up. Inhale, we reach the shoulders up by the ears. Exhale, we roll them down. 
grounded through the soles of the feet, lifted through the inner lines of the body, energized through our fingertips. Crown of the head reaches up, soften the face, soften the jaw, soften the glutes. Once again, find that calm, peaceful center that resides within you. And from this place, we'll inhale, sweep arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale with your half lift. And exhale, plant your hands, come to high plank pose. You can move through knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog with your inhale. And exhaling our downward facing dog. Just take a slow walk to the space in between your hands. We're feeling the backs of the legs begin to open up. Inhaling half lift once we're there. And exhale forward fold. Inhale reverse swan diving up. Palms touch. We bring hands to heart space. Another sunday to warm up. We inhale and sweep arms up to the sky. And exhale, fold it forward. Half lifting, inhale. And exhale, plant hands. Move through your vinyasa of choice. Remember, you can always level up or just press to downward facing dog, depending on your energy levels. We'll lift our right leg to the sky, bend it at the knee. We can roll out our ankle joint, roll out the hip joint. Lengthen out the right leg with an inhale. And exhale, knee to nose, right foot in between the hands, dropping left knee to the mat. We'll inhale, low lunge. So we'll clasp the hands behind us, lengthen the backs of the hands towards the wall or window, or whatever it is that's behind you, and a slight leaning forward. <clears throat> Inhale, sweeping the arms up to the sky. We'll exhale the hands to the mat. Slide that right leg back and move through your vinyasa of choice or press to downward facing dog. And we'll lift the left leg high. We can bend it at the knee, roll out our ankle, roll out our hip joint. Extend long with an inhale and exhale, knee to nose, foot in between the hands, right knee to the mat, inhale, press it, or low lunge, sorry, to begin, clasping hands behind us. The inner thighs draw together to help us with our balance here, and we'll slightly lean forward. So my intention in this pose is to help you find a bit of opening through the pectoral muscles, lengthen the spine, strength in the quads and the glutes, softness in the breath. We'll inhale and sweep our arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands to the mat. And again, vinyasa of choice or press to downward facing dog. Let's pause here. Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. We'll lift our heels, bend our knees, and exhale, walk, hop, or float to the space in between our hands. Inhale to your half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. Palms touch. And we'll exhale the hands to our heart space. Bend into the knees, drop your fingertips down to the mat, inhale, chair pose, weight is in our heels. 
keeping toes lifted or planted on the mat, but we really want the weight in the heels, everything drawing in towards the midline of your body, pinky swirl towards the midline. You know, lift up our left foot and cross our left ankle over our right thigh. Little figure four action here. Hands come to our heart space and we'll drop our hands, our forearms towards our shin. We'll inhale, lift up nice and tall, knee in line with our hip, standing up nice and tall. Step it back, warrior one. So our back heel is pivoted about 45 degrees, right knee is over our right ankle. This time we clasp our hands behind us again. Roll shoulders back with an inhale. Exhale, humble warrior, dropping chest to the inside of your right knee joint. Keeping the back edge of your back foot grounded. With an inhale, we'll sweep our arms back up. And step forward, chair pose. Again, exhale, drop fingertips to the mat. Inhale, up. Weight is on our left foot now. We'll pick up our right foot, cross it over our right thigh, hands to heart space, dropping our forearms to our shins. Seeing if you can keep the face and jaw soft, keeping the tension where it belongs in the glutes, in our foundation. We'll inhale, stand up tall, standing staff, step back, warrior one. So left knee bent, back toes about 45 degrees from that back heel, and we're grounded through the edge of it. Clasping the hands behind us again, opening the backs of the hands towards whatever's behind you. Big inhale, we fill up. Exhale, we drop the chest. Inhale, we begin to sweep it up. Weight towards our left foot, step forward, chair pose. Inhale, stand up nice and tall. And exhale, dive forward. Inhaling, half lift. And exhale, plant your hands to move through a chaturanga, a knees, chest, chin. Big inhale as you open the heart space wide. And exhaling to downward facing dog. Pausing again. Big inhale. Complete exhale. We'll lift our right leg high to the side with an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, right foot in between the hands. Warrior one with your inhale. We'll clasp the hands behind us once more. Big inhale, exhale, drop, humble warrior. So see if you can draw the right hip back slightly. Ground the back edge of your left foot. Shift your gaze forward and slowly begin to launch into a warrior three, keeping the arms behind you. If this doesn't help your balance, you can move the hands to the heart space or take airplane arms. We'll uh, release our hands, bring them down to the floor or to blocks or paper towel rolls. Standing splits. Bend into the right knee. Tap your right ankle to the back of the right shin and lengthen up. So Shiva squats here. We exhale, draw in, and inhale, bring it up. Returning to standing splits. Bend into right knee, step back, crescent lunge. Sweep your arms up to the sky. 
Slowly drop your back knee to the mat all the way down. Hands to the mat, sit back, half splits. Toes up to the sky, finding a little bit of release in the glutes and the hamstrings that we just worked. Inhale, give a half or a half lift here. And exhale, just come a little bit further. We'll inhale, bring it forward, plant your hands to the mat, step back, high plank pose and hold. And our high plank pose. Bending your knees, hovering them over the mat. Picking up your right hand and tapping your left shoulder. Keeping the knees bent, still hovering, picking up the left hand, tapping right shoulder. Keep tapping side to side, keeping core nice and strong. We'll exhale to downward facing dog. <laughs> Inhale, lifting left leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, left foot in between the hands. And warrior one with your inhale. We clasp the hands behind us. Lengthen long and exhale to humble warrior. Beginning to shift our gaze forward and playing with our balance, beginning to lift up the right leg for warrior three. Energize through lifted heel, growing long through the crown of the head, keeping our breath even. We can release the hands slowly down to the mat or to props. Bend deeply into your left knee, tapping the back of your shin with your opposite leg and then lengthening back up. So we exhale, come down and we inhale, come up. Bend into the left knee, step back, crescent lunge, inhaling arms to the sky. Slowly dropping the back knee to the mat. Hands to the mat and we'll sit the hips back, toes up to the sky. We're in our half splits again. <clears throat> Give an inhale with a half lift. Exhale, fold forward. We'll bend to the front knee, plant the hands to the mat, slide back, high plank pose here. Again, this time you can move through your vinyasa of choice. We'll take our inhale, deep into the belly, complete exhale. Big inhale, and let's drop our knees to the mat and take a child's pose. So arm variations can include arms out long, prayer position, arms alongside the body. Forehead rests on the mat. A release in the low back. Notice if you can feel the back of the heart space inflate with your breath. We'll 
We'll bring the arms out long and return to our downward facing dog. Take it to a little side opening sequence here. So we'll do right leg up to the sky with an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose or right foot in between the hands. This time we're in warrior two. So bending the elbows, we'll place the hands behind the head. So I'm broad in my heart space. I'm low in my lunge. I'm gonna inhale the right elbow up to the sky. And exhale, like I'm coming to extended side angle, but I'm not really gonna move as that far because I'm not gonna have that, I don't have that access in my head, maybe you do. So inhale up. And exhale forward. One more time, inhaling up. Exhaling forward. Now we'll release the arms out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale to extended side angle. This time in extended side angle, we pause. We can wrap the back arm around the low back. We can take a full wrap for the full bind. We'll release to warrior two. And open up to long edge of mat temple squat. So my toes are pointed out. I'm low in a squat here, knees over my ankles. My arms are cactus. Let's grab opposite elbows here overhead and begin to draw circles. The next time you come up to the center, we'll release it all up. Five pointed star, big inhale. Exhale to the front of your mat, warrior two. Inhale to fill. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the inside of your right foot. You're gonna pivot that back heel off of the mat, drop the left knee to the mat, and we're gonna be in lizard pose. I'm wrapping my right arm, I know it's hard because I'm on the side, but I'm wrapping my right arm around my right leg. If it's available to you, some of you might like to try the arm balance of Kundini Asana. Otherwise, you can hang out in this lounging lizard. If you're trying Kundini Asana, you would drop your torso onto your triceps. Your right thigh is resting on your right tricep and slide the right leg forward and maybe take flight. I run into the wall, so I can't. If you take in flight, we'll come back, hands underneath the shoulders, sliding that right leg back to meet the left leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. If you'd like to take that extra vinyasa, you can inhale, roll forward and drop through Chaturanga. Otherwise, remain in your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Left leg lifts with an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose and left foot in between the hands. Warrior two with our inhale. So we're working obliques here as we clasp the back of the head, head with our hands. Inhale, left elbow reaches up. We stay in our lunge here. Exhale, reach it forward. Like you're coming extended side angle, but not quite. So it's a little more subtle. We're really feeling the side body work. And with your next inhale, we'll reverse the warrior completely. Your left arm reaches up and over. And exhale, we come to extended side angle, traditional extend, extended side angle, or we can wrap.
So even more than just trying to get the fingertips to touch or making that connection underneath your left hip, we really want to feel the space here in the neck, jaw, and shoulders. So rolling that top, top shoulder away from the top ear, keeping jaw soft. We'll release, inhale, warrior two. And exhale, hands to the mat inside of left foot. Right foot will pivot up and I'm dropping right knee to the mat. So again, we can wrap our left arm around the left leg or just take traditional lizard pose. Maybe you drop to the forearms. Allow this hip opening to serve you. From here, we can unwrap our arm, return to the tabletop position, and move through a vinyasa of choice. I forgot to do a whole temple squat on that side. Luckily, that pose is very symmetrical. So, <laughs> take a big inhale, complete exhale. So let's step that left foot forward between the hands and come towards the long edge of the mat. I'll make up for it here, whether you want to or not. We'll come back up, <laughs> temple squat. So yeah, you can take uh, cactus arms. Just begin to sway side to side. Lengthen tailbone down. Keeping heart space open. We'll inhale up. We'll pigeon toe our feet in, clasp the hands behind us, and now we'll forward fold. Hands fall behind you. Crown of the head reaches to the mat, sit bones up to the sky. Dropping hands down to the mat now. Maybe you wanna bring your legs more wide. Maybe you wanna bring them further together. We're gonna to walk our hands in between the legs towards the wall or window or whatever it is that's behind you. Bringing the hands back to underneath the shoulders. Give a half lift. Really plant your hands there underneath your shoulders and begin to rock forward and rock back. So we've done this in class before if you've done these virtual classes, but what you're gonna try to do here as you rock forward and back is you're gonna really plant those hands down, activate your navel to your spine and see if you can kick up your feet. So this is a really advanced method of getting into handstands, which I cannot show you, but it's a nice way to work the core, really grounding the hands down, activating the core, and seeing if you can lift up or even kicking up the legs. From here, we'll turn back towards the front of our mat, plant the hands underneath our shoulders, and one last time, you can take vinyasa or press to downward facing dog. With our inhale, we'll roll forward to high plank pose, and we'll lower all the way down to the mat from here. As we lay on the mat, you can fold your hands underneath your forehead 
We'll bend the knees and just move the knees side to side like they're windshield wipers. Keep the right knee bent, extend the left leg long behind you. We're gonna grab for the right ankle or right foot with our right hand. Left hand can stay underneath the face and we'll just inhale up, kicking our foot into our hand. You're not gonna be making the biggest back bend of your life here. This is more just to find some sensation in your hip flexor, I'm sorry, in the quadricep, maybe in the shoulder. We'll release that and switch up. So right hand to where the left arm was, or right arm where the left arm was. And again, reaching for your foot or your ankle, kicking a foot into the hand. So this is like a half upward bow. We'll release that down. And now we can drop the chest all the way. Grabbing both feet with both hands or both ankles with both hands. We'll inhale, lift up, keeping heart space open, back of the neck long. We'll release our feet, release our hands and come back down to the mat just as we did before. And you can wave the feet side to side or wiggle the hips or just find Simple stillness. So we're gonna try it one more time, kicking our feet into our hands, our ankles into our hands. And we've got options again. So maybe this is where you stop, just kicking feet into hands. Maybe you don't lift up the chest. If you do lift up the chest, maybe you want to try starting rolling over to one side. And if you can roll over to one side, maybe you try rolling to the opposite side. And if you roll to both sides, hopefully you can make it back to the center. I really took a chance on demoing that one, but it worked out. We'll release here and we'll go ahead and come to a child's pose. Find length through the back, low back. Feel the breath go all the way to the SI joint. We'll return to tabletop position with our inhale. Cross our feet behind us and take a seat on the mat. We'll bring right leg long and fold our left foot to the upper right thigh. So you can see me. Inhaling arms up and exhale forward folding over the right leg. Keep the jaw soft, the face soft. We'll inhale, roll up. We can plant our left hand behind us, come up onto our left knee and reach out as we lift the hips. A little, a little backward bend, little counter pose here. Bring my hips back down and switch it up. Left leg out, right leg in. Inhaling arms up and we'll exhale, fold it forward again.
We'll slowly roll it up. Hand behind us. Lifting up onto the knee joint. If that's comfortable, lifting hips up. Inhale. And we'll come down as we feel ready. Beautiful work. Let's bring the soles of our feet together now. Heels close in to the pubic bone, or they can be further out. Beginning to lean forward. It's a nice stretch for our glutes and our IT band. Depending on how close you have the heels to the pubic bone, you might feel it more in the groin area. We'll begin to release up, grab the outsides of the knees and draw them in. Soles of the feet to the mat and we'll roll onto our back. Oh, it's okay, Jody. I'm sorry, I scared you. And once you're on your back, you can draw knees into chest, rock side to side, maybe that happy baby pose. So we'll, if you want to take an inversion, this is a great time for you to take an inversion. And it's really hard for me to teach these digitally, but bridge pose is one, shoulder stand is one. Um, if you have a wall next to you, you just push your legs up the wall. It will take about 60 seconds for you to take an inversion. That's just bringing your head or your hips above your head in any way. Bridge pose is just sort of like what we did earlier with uh, the upward facing bow, except now we're on our back instead of our belly, lifting hips up to the sky, keeping everything drawn in towards the midline. If you're in shoulder stand, you're really drawing up through the middle line between your legs, energized through the, finger, uh, through the toes, because again, the toes are the fingers of the foot, And we'll all release coming down. Draw the right knee into the chest, keeping left leg long. And draw the right knee over to the left side of the room, spinal twist. And let's release that spinal twist, rolling our right hip down. Switching out so our left knee comes in, our right leg long. Give it a hug in. Exhale, we guide it over to the opposite side.
we can begin to release this side of our spinal twist. And here I invite you to take any last poses or make any last movements. I will help you to complete your practice. And allow the legs to come long, snuggle the shoulders underneath you and we take the form of Shavasana. Shoulders are snuggled underneath us, our heart space is broad. We feel the weight of our gravity anchor us to the mat. The back of the neck long, the jaw soft. And one more time, we find that connection to the place of peace within. And I would argue that maybe at this point, it's really important for us to start to move through society from this place of peace. So allowing that to become your center through your meditation, allowing yourself to rest in this awareness. We'll take one last big inhale into this place. Exhale. We enjoy our final meditation. Deepen our breath, begin to bring awareness back to this world. We can introduce a bit of movement into the fingers and toes. Big stretch with an inhale. And exhaling knees into the chest. And we'll roll over to one side. Pressing yourself to an easy seat. With our inhale, we'll sweep the arms up to the sky. Gather the energy you've created through this practice and we exhale hands to the heart space. Pausing here to gather that energy with your inhale. And with our exhale, we share with our dedication.
Thank you for joining me in this practice on this Friday and through this whole quarantine. I appreciate your presence. Namaste. Thank you, ladies. 